the rest of the story. It was the high point of Helen Stevens' athletic career. And it was the low point as well. The good news was that she just won an Olympic gold medal. The bad news was that some critics were demanding she give it back. Those critics were calling her a... Those critics were calling her a... They were calling her a he. And why is the rest of the story? It was among the most heated rivalries in the history of women's athletic, that of Helen Stevens and Stella Walsh. Stella Walsh was the daughter of Polish immigrants, born in Poland but grew up in Cleveland. Her track and field prowess became evident when she was still a schoolgirl, barely 19 when she became the first female on the planet to break the 11-second barrier in the 100-yard dash. That was in May of 1930. Two years later, she'd win an Olympic gold medal for the 100 meters, but not for the United States. For Stella Walsh, an alien, unable to support herself in America during the Great Depression, decided prior to the 1932 Olympics to accept a job offer at the Polish consulate in New York. That obligated her to compete in the Olympics for Poland. So Stella Walsh of Cleveland triumphed in the Los Angeles Games under the Polish flag. And her career became even more dramatic three years later with the appearance of an arch rival, a six-foot farm girl from Callaway County, Missouri, a brilliant runner named Helen Stevens. Walsh and Stevens first met in St. Louis in the 1935 National AAU competition. Missouri and Stevens won the shot put event, then set world records in the standing long jump in the 200-meter race. But the crowd really went wild when she, Stevens, beat Walsh of Poland in the 50-yard dash. The latter was bitter called the American upstart a few names, then vowed to vanquish her in the Olympics the following year. These super rivals did indeed square off in Berlin in 1936, both seeking the coveted gold medal for the 100 meters. And when Missouri and Helen Stevens won, she set a record that would neither be bettered nor equaled for years to come. 11.5 seconds. Stella Walsh of Poland again was furious yet no more so than most of her countrymen. In fact, one Polish journalist declared the gold medal should be returned, insisting that he had proof that Helen Stevens had competed illegally, that strapping six-foot Helen was really a man. That accusation sent shock waves around the world, and most shocked of all was Helen Stevens herself, who promptly submitted to an official medical examination, the results of which irrefutably determined that Helen was all girl. Thus concluded the brief but red-hot rivalry of Helen Stevens and Stella Walsh. For shortly thereafter, Missouri and Stevens turned pro, and more than four decades would pass before anyone realized the full extent of Stevens' accomplishments. For she, Stevens, unquestionably officially female, annihilated her Polish opponent, Walsh, in two of the most remarkable women's track events ever, even though it was determined that during the autopsy following Walsh's death, that she was no she. Not Stevens, who'd once been suspected of being a man, but her opponent, Walsh, really was. That means an American farm girl, Helen Stevens, won her gold medal in 1936 by running faster than the fastest woman in the whole world and faster than at least one very fast man. And now you know the rest of the story.